Sir Richard Owen, paleontologist and naturalist, was born on the 20th of July in the year 1804. Sir Richard was widely regarded as one of the world's foremost researchers in paleontology. Richard Owen attended school in Lancaster, England as a child and enrolled at the University of Edinburgh Medical School in his early 20s. Unsatisfied with the education he was receiving, he left the school and went to St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London. While he was at this institution, Sir Richard met a man by the name of John Abernathy, a renowned English surgeon. During his time at St. Bartholomew's, Sir Richard found his true passion, comparative anatomy. John Abernathy informed Sir Richard of a position at the Royal College of Surgeons in London and recommended him for the job. It was at this time that Sir Richard made the final decision to abandon his professional training and fully delve into his research as an anatomical biologist. While at the museum, he was able to achieve unparalleled insight into comparative anatomy that he began to concentrate into extinct animals. In the year 1849, Sir Richard succeeded his predecessor as curator of the museum and held this position until he was appointed superintendent of the Natural History Department at the British Museum. At the British Museum, he devoted so much time to his work that he grew the department so immensely that it had to be moved into a new building and the National Museum of Natural History of England was formed. Some of the work that Sir Richard completed at this time was dissection and observation of living things. By using animals that had died on the grounds of the Zoological Society's gardens, he was later able to publish his findings through this society. Over the next 50 years, Sir Richard's findings were able to make significant contributions to almost every branch of comparative anatomy and zoology. He was able to discover Trichinella spiralis, the organism responsible for trichinosis in humans. Sir Richard's multiple publications of comparative anatomy and physiology of vertebrates between 1866 and 1868 showcased the incredible work that he had been accomplishing. Another of his papers, Odontography, was his study of comparative anatomy of teeth between species existing and extinct. By the time Sir Richard stopped publishing at the age of 85, he had published over 600 scientific papers. From the 1830s to the 1850s, Sir Richard had a working relationship with Charles Darwin. While Darwin was on the Beagle, he sent fossil specimens for Sir Richard to examine. Darwin thought Sir Richard to be a very cynical man and was not friendly in the least. Sir Richard was very open in his beliefs of evolution, but he did not agree with Darwin's theory of natural selection. This working relationship ended after Darwin did not want to be involved with a man that became rude and impudent toward him. Sir Richard Owen died on December 18, 1892. His exact cause of death is unspecified, and he is preceded in death by his wife and his only son. It may be some indication of Sir Richard's personality that he never had any type of a follower or a pupil. Most scholars at this time typically had an assistant or something of the like, but Sir Richard did not have anyone that he was in constant, close contact with. Perhaps as a final stab to Sir Richard, his statue at the National Museum of Natural History in London was replaced by a statue of Charles Darwin in 2009. All character aside, Sir Richard made many significant contributions to comparative anatomy and paleontology during his lifetime. If only he had been a little more kind to people, maybe he wouldn't be thought of as a forgotten biologist.